Hello, welcome to Intuitive Queen Tarot. I'm Ashley Cole, a psychic empath, intuitive reader, and I am here to give you your collective reading this morning. So let's see what we got. Spirit said four this morning, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Okay, so we have oh guys okay pay attention to the energy around you we have deception and envy at the bottom of the deck this is the seven of swords in the psychic tarot deck so somebody around you might be jealous or they might be being deceptive okay just a side note okay i do pay attention to the bottom of the deck um we do have the three of cups for the first one i'm sorry the first one was the heart chakra okay the second was the three of cups which is rejoice and celebration in the psychic tarot we also have love begins okay let me see if i have any more okay i just wanted to make sure because i thought one fell down but it didn't okay anyway let's get into it let me get you some clarity okay what's with this heart chakra spirit thank you okay we have the wheel of fortune as our first one for the heart chakra so we know the Wheel of Fortune is basically the Wheel of Karma. And it depends on what side of the karma you are. And if you've been doing well, this, this is a, a really great and awesome card to see. It means you have fortune on your side. And it did come out in the upright. Then what else do we have for the heart chakra? What else do we have for the heart chakra? Heart chakra. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so the Queen of Wands naturally is a go-getter. Um, also could be a fire sign, 155 on the clock. Um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. She's coming out in the reverse, but she's usually goal-driven, goal-oriented. She's a sassy, you know, badass, spiritual baddie. Um, but she's coming out in the reverse here. Um, this feminine energy is usually very passion-driven. Um, and very passionate about what they believe in but this passion used the wrong way could be kind of rage filled and angry and aggressive okay so someone's energy it might be a little bit off right now we do have the wheel of karma here so let's see where this is going we do have the heart chakra the wheel and the queen of wands in the reverse okay oh, okay oh, that explains a lot we have the king of pentacles following okay the king of pentacles could be an earth sign okay um the king of pentacles is naturally somebody that is uh could be wealthy a business owner they manage their finances really well coming out in the upright like this um and could be a possibly an earth sign um taurus capricorn or Vir virgo they do not have to be but this person um the way they they gain their income or uh wealth or material things um is suspect okay i say this all the time 311 on the clock um they could be stealing they could be uh, manipulating people to get what they want here um financially or materially um just take what resonates for your situation but this um this masculine did come out in the reverse alongside a queen of wands so this could be a fire sign and an earth sign okay doesn't feel like a couple okay unless they're just together and they're not equally yoked which is possible okay we do have the page of cups here somebody is wanting to express how they feel or apologize and then we have the knight of pentacles this is a slow moving energy um usually um finishes what they start here and the knight of pentacles could also be an earth sign and could be also an indicator of this king of pentacles here they might be one or they may have been taking their time coming in to apologize to you okay it looks like we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and it came out in the reverse the rest of the deck is in the upright so this may be your energy you may have felt left out in the cold by this masculine energy with this five of pentacles showing up in the reverse but you no longer feel this way it feels like you've moved on and this may have been a past connection this this feminine energy may be someone they're involved with at this time Spirit, can you tell me more about this king of pentacles and this queen of wands okay thank you you are showing up as the empress here okay okay all right spiritual baddie okay the empress title you know she is earth sign could be a virgo actually uh but virgo capricorn or taurus here but you are a powerful creator anything you touch turns into gold you are very nurturing loving and kind okay you are a giver you embody all the queens in the deck okay this does not have to be a woman this just could be somebody in their 
feminine energy that is connected to Mother Gaia, okay? We do have the Page of Wands. Somebody has communication coming soon. Okay, Spirit, can you tell us? Oh, you let this person go. Yes. Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So these individuals we have here, this Queen of Wands in the reverse and this King of Pentacles, somebody here you let go. And they, and they took their time coming in and apologizing, but it did not stop you from moving forward. We have the Page of Wands here signifying that the Empress has some some communication coming after walking away from a situation okay is there anything else here about this queen of wands and this king of pentacles and the heart chakra please oh spirits oh your emperor is coming this is where the communication is coming from so it feels like you have communications coming from your emperor after who the wind is blowing hold on guys <laughs> hold on okay if y'all saw what just happened okay spirit is here okay I'm, I'm by a lake and i always feel feel spirit really heavy and when i'm near the lake okay but the way these cards just blew 6 11 on the clock so i want you to see what blew out i only see a future with you and that was after i flipped to the bottom of the deck the emperor okay so your emperor is coming with communication page of wands here okay you are the empress but this also blew out of my divine union love and romance deck okay we saw i let you guys know at the beginning of the reading the deception and envy was at the bottom of the deck and then we had the king of pentacles and the queen of wands come out in the reverse so spirit is wanting you to know someone around you is being deceptive it feels like an ex-lover that is involved with somebody that is in low vibration it doesn't have to be their partner but it's definitely somebody they're in connection with that they are um they're being deceptive they're doing something they don't have any business but your emperor is coming okay with communication here they want to express how they feel okay and they may have been moving fairly slow um towards you but they only see a future with you that is why we have the heart chakra here okay spirit is saying that your heart chakra may be activated when this comes in but this is also concerning a past lover okay that is being deceptive the karmic wheel is here which means that if you are on the right side of the the wheel this is good karma for you if you are on the wrong side of the wheel this is bad karma for you so whoever was being deceptive here is about to receive karma if they haven't already okay we did see the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck and i just want you to see whenever the, the seven of swords blew across the field it revealed the balance card in the balance in the psychic tarot deck the balance card is about justice so whatever is happening here to these individuals and about to occur for you is all karma so you it feels like you have good karma but you were in connection with some past people that are about to receive bad karma okay all right, I think that's all Spirit has here, but let me just check. Woo! Spirit is speaking. Okay, Spirit, do you have anything else here? Thank you. Okay, yes, this is your emperor coming, and this is a, a gift from the divine, okay? Ace of Pentacles here. This is going to be a passionate new beginning. We have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Anything else, Spirit? more okay spirit said this connection with your emperor is going to end in the ten of cups awesome 8 44 on the clock you have some great news coming guys wow okay <laughs> date night just blew across in front of me okay so you're going to be going on a date really soon okay somebody's masculine is working alongside with spirit this morning because they have some messages for you so i'm guessing i'm going to need to pull from my romance deck in a minute because <laughs> they have a lot to say Okay, let's go to the Three of Cups. Rejoice and celebrate. There. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, okay, so somebody's releasing devil energy here. Great job. Great work. Okay, it looks like you were waiting on somebody to return here with this Three of Wands in reverse, and you have stopped waiting. Okay, we do have the Three of Cups here, which is all about, um, it could be about family, friends, or coming into union. So... Whoever this is that is releasing this devil energy here, um, they, they were waiting for somebody to return and they're no longer waiting. We have a passionate new beginning on the bottom of the deck again. Okay, we have the moon in reverse. So things are being revealed here that may have been hidden from you. Sorry guys, that may have been hidden from you. 
Okay, so it looks like somebody releases some release some negative, um, some toxic behaviors, maybe thoughts or even addictions here. But they've let these things go and something's about to be revealed here. Okay. We have the sun in the reverse here. Someone's extremely unhappy, okay? This is a past lover. Or it could be a, take what resonates, okay? But this is about new beginnings and uh, emotionally fulfilling new, new beginnings with the Ace of Cups. Hold on. Okay, so this is definitely somebody from your past. They are crying over spilled milk here. They are extremely unhappy. If they were in this devil energy, this this feels like this was you in this devil energy because you were in a um, possibly a karmic relationship here, but it looks like you've let this go with this three of wands coming out in the reverse. And now you're seeing some secrets being revealed around you about the people that you were in connection with here. Whoever you were in connection with is very unhappy at this time. They are crying over spilled milk. Okay, you could have been married to this person. We have the emperor showing up at the bottom of the deck. Okay, yes, they're still stalking you. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They could be gossiping, okay, with multiple individuals about what you're doing. If you have a platform, they're possibly gossiping and spreading rumors here. This person is regretful for how they treated you. We have the Four of Cups here. They're feeling lack, okay? They're not being emotionally fulfilled. And they're seeing you as the lady of luxury. This could be an earth sign you don't have to be an earth sign okay but virgo capricorn or taurus the lady of luxury is independent um and she focuses on her career she's the provider for her family if she has any children but she is very um goal driven and focused on what she wants to manifest into her life okay and she takes those things very important if y'all saw how these cards are blowing look at this okay all of my psychic tarot just blew to the six of cups so a past connection, 11.55 on the clock. <laughs> a lover is wanting to speak with somebody now, okay? Yes, sorry, somebody's um, masculine is heavy in the energy. They're blowing my cards, guys. They're coming out of hermit, it feels like, because it's just blue across the table, okay? So if, they, if you haven't spoken to them in a while, they are taking over my reading right now. They wanna uh, invest in this connection. Okay, somebody's masculine is serious. Okay, <laughs> this wasn't even about them, and it just took they just took over my my reading. Okay, Spirit, do you have anything else about Three of Cups here? <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is about emotionally fulfilling new beginnings. All right, Spirit, what do we have here for the Ace of Cups? Okay, so somebody could have been having trouble finding a sense of direction here. Take what resonates. The two of wands did come out in the reverse. Is there anything else for this ace of cups? Okay, we have a knight of swords coming out in the reverse. 13, 13 on the clock. Okay, so somebody may have been considering rushing towards you, but they're not having... Um, they're having trouble finding a sense of direction. The knight of swords came out in the reverse, which is... Kind of an indication that they did not have any good intentions this could be concerning a past lover here with this ace of cups here okay they are watching you work we have the eight of pentacles um at the bottom of the deck you could be um watching your manifestations come in and this person is watching you do this they may be wanting to rush to towards you with uh not so good intentions this feels like a past lover or ex all right spirit wait. what else do you have here Yes, because this person is in the Ten of Swords energy. They are mentally exhausted. It doesn't feel like you're in connection with this person anymore, but they are not emotionally fulfilled at this time. Spirit, do you have any final messages for the Ace of Cups? Spirit said no. Okay, you are being guided. Okay, 14, 14 on the clock. You could be being guided away from this connection. It doesn't feel like this connection is still together. I feel like Spirit guided you away because you have an emperor coming in here. This is good karma for you. You're showing up as the empress. You're going to be in this Ten of Cups energy very soon, okay? You have been healing. You have been working on yourself. The empress does not come out for everybody, okay? So this means you have done the work. And Spirit is about to bless you with the connection that was sent by the divine, okay? This is a, your gift from Spirit. 
this person only sees a future with you they made sure this card flew across my table okay so let me get some messages from them but just so you know somebody was being deceptive here and it feels like this ex-lover okay this king of pentacles in the reverse with this queen of wands in the reverse they were being deceptive they are receiving karma because it feels like they're on the wrong side of karma here let's just see what your uh divine masculine has to say because they are coming they want to be seen they want to be heard okay <laughs> okay spring you could have met this person in the spring somebody's birthday could be in the springtime okay you could be coming into union with this person in the springtime spirit is saying it's safe for you to love this person okay this feels like a higher level soulmate okay children are a major factor here i did split the deck so both of you could have children or one of you could but this is a major factor in your connection let's get some messages from spirit whoever you are your masculine is strong okay we know the emperor can embody all the kings in the deck and they are making sure you are aware of this okay oh my goodness somebody's masculine is like look okay Okay, so we have self-sabotaging habits are affecting your progress. Oh my goodness. Okay, so somebody's self-sabotaging. Okay, so do some self-reflecting here. Self-sabotaging could be anything like you have, you know you have like good news coming and you're trying to talk yourself out of it. Well, let's work on our thoughts. Okay, be more mindful of what we're thinking. Okay, this <laughs> okay, six of cups just flew. Okay, all these cards are flying, guys. Like, okay. I'm, I'm going to stop because somebody's energy is like all in my deck right now. But work on your self-sabotaging habits, okay? So you can allow for your manifestations to come in because you do have some great news coming. You do you have some deceptive energy around you, but always know that you are protected, okay? Just, just for you to be mindfully aware of, okay? So I'm sorry for all the pausing and the skipping, but somebody's divine masculine is ready to be seen. 16.55 on the clock. Well, I think that's all I have for now, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.